second home, your biggest concern would probably be getting cut off or even stuck in traffic. What you don't plan for is a rock to seemingly fall from the sky and cause you to lose control. But that's exactly what happened to one woman in Jefferson County. Now she has a massive bill for damages and silence from police. But News Force Russell Kinzel is getting some results for her. Russell's been in a frightening and even expensive ordeal. Russell. Yeah, so take a look at this. This is the size of the rock that hit her windshield, about the size of a baseball, and that's according to a windshield repair shop that gave her an estimate. Look behind me. This is Highway 30 right here. Burns Mill Road crosses it. She was driving along back there by those rock bluffs whenever something hit her windshield. We've seen it before in other places. The repairs are not cheap, and it could cause a driver to lose control. And it was just like a loud boom. Like it, it was really loud and it, it scared me. When Tiffany Baker eventually stopped down the road, this is what she saw. Damage at the edge of her windshield and cracks across half of it. Baker was driving south on Highway 30 to meet her husband a little after 5 p.m. on Friday. Nobody was in front of me. I um, was in the fast lane. I There was a car that I noticed had made a right-hand turn, but it was behind me. Through process of elimination, she determined the only thing that could have hit her windshield was a rock that someone had thrown, and it could have caused her to lose control and go off the road. I instantly jerked this way. Oh, I could have wrecked. I could have went into the median. She believes the rock could have come from these rock bluffs overlooking the highway on the west side of the road. We found a path that took us to the top of the rock bluffs. It's possible for someone to get up there. Baseball size damage. It was a baseball size something that hit it. That's what Baker said one repair shop told her. Estimates to replace the windshield range from $750 to $2,200. There was some initial frustration about whether the damaging incident would be investigated. And I called trying to make the report, and he, the officer or dispatch that I talked to, said to call my insurance. That call had gone to Jefferson County 911 dispatch, not the Burns Mill Police Department. Today I spoke with Burns Mill Police Chief Frank Salvaggio, who took it upon himself to speak with Baker about what happened. So first thing tomorrow morning, Baker is meeting with Chief Salvaggio to file a report. She wants to make sure that others are warned about what happened, and she wants to make sure there's a record of what happened to her in case it happens to somebody else. Live in Burns Mill, Russell Kinsall, News 4. Russell, thank you.